you know, I've been a fan of your guys for a long time. Everything you do, and I frankly, bless you for bringing McGruber back. <laughs> now, I love that you have the Skyfall poster because we've yeah. been talking about it a lot. There's a lot of references to Skyfall in this series. Yeah, I got a, I, I felt like I got a couple. <laughs> yeah, backstory, man. Emotional backstory. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, how how the hell did this come about? I mean, how did you guys hook up with Peacock and say, okay, yeah, we're doing this. We're doing a series out of this. Well, everybody wanted to do it. I mean, like Netflix, like we had basically our pick of the litter, you know what I mean? And everyone just kept throwing money at us. <laughs> so we were just like, oh, who do we go with? We got to keep it in the NBC family. Let's go with Peacock. But it took a while just because like everyone just like money, money, yeah. please take our money for, for this. For us to choose. We chose Yeah. Peacock. <laughs> they didn't choose us. We chose Peacock. Wow. Well, the, I mean, it, I feel like it. You know, watching the three episodes I've seen, I haven't seen all of them. It just it lends itself so brilliantly to the half hour sitcom way. You know, style instead of a full feature. Although, come come on, I'd love a sequel too. But still, this is amazing. What was the challenge of kind of paring it down, or was it easier to do? I, I will say one thing I learned from from John and and Will having like them have like such a, a you know a, a history with um, Last Man on Earth, they have a very good sense of where act breaks come. I still because like this is basically a long movie split into chunks with like cliffhangers at the end of each episode. But then these guys were incredibly good at like always knowing like 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 there should be a cliffhanger into this act break and, and like I still have a difficult time with that. But like that was one of the bigger challenges in my mind of like just getting, you know, like thinking about it in little chunks within those, those bigger. What about, yeah. What about for you, John? Um, oh no, your arm's frozen. Um, <laughs> he's, is he frozen on your screen? He is, oh, he's, he's back. Now. He's back. There he's back. You're frozen. Yeah, frozen. shit. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, don't use that answer. <laughs> it was a great yeah. answer, by the way. <laughs> I mean, uh, to to fill up eight episodes, obviously the the you, the, the characters have to um, you got to be able to go a little more in depth to these characters, and it's all it's MacGruber, so it's a, a you know a real a dumb enterprise in, in the first place. But but we found out like the more emotional and the more serious we uh, got into the characters' backstories, the funnier it was to us anyway. So. Uh, just kind of like taking more time, you know, seeing what Vicky St. Elmo's life is like now is really funny to us. But yeah, by the way, her song, and I guess I could ask her this too. She, she opens us the song and I was like, wow, Tori Amos vibes all over. This thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> what, what, were you, what, were you, what was the inspiration for that what, that song who wrote that that's amazing that's just, that's just fucking will's brain just going on for like i mean if he could have made it another five minutes yeah. he would have <laughs> also the, the one thing that i let a little like uh, uh backstory on that song though those are one takes that just broken up with editing like she was doing it in one takes like oh she God. she she had that entire gobbledygook memorized it's crazy the the song there's no since there's no structure to the song we gave her the, the song that will wrote and she memorized the song and when you see it you're like how do you, how did you memorize that so fast because it's a bunch of nonsense as as directors too i will say it does spoil you to have somebody that talented where you're just like yeah. like there was a there was a moment too where like where i got appropriately like don't do that to me like 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 where i was like now cry <laughs> like and she's and she can cry on command she just literally takes a step to the side finds the emotion and you know but you don't say that over a microphone <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys we gotta wrap up but oh shit again thank you you guys thank are amazing i'm so glad it's back oh well honestly the episodes get better too so i'm excited for you to see the rest yeah i'm too i'm too all right guys Cheers. Good seeing you. Are you sure about this, sir? No, Major, I'm not. This son of a bitch is our only hope. He's what we like to call a problem inmate. Why is that? He doesn't play well with others. Is this what you want? Is we need you, MacGruber. Why me? You were specifically requested. Mac 
I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's a suicide mission. Who let the dog out? My country has invited me to die for it, and I RSVP'd yes, queen. Uncle Sam tells you to jump, and you go get your jumping shoes. Classic MacGruber. Queen? Hello, MacGruber. This isn't just any mission for me. This is personal. He murdered my mother. I'm in. Thank you, soldier. You're gonna get us all killed. Millions of people are gonna die. We're talking about a world ender here. I think it's time to call the cavalry. We are the fucking cavalry. Time to go make some widows. Get shot! Smell you later, Vic. And I mean that with every fiber of my being. I will smell you later. McGruber! I think it might be time for a little R&R. &R. Oh, yes, I could use some rest and relaxation. <laughs> no. The other R&R. &R. Ramming and rimming. Oh, Gruber. My Gruber.